Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a wax melt haul for you. This is long overdue. I cannot even describe. Um, I've been saving this stuff for a while, but I'm finally like, no, I need to do it. I need to film this haul. I've got quite a few shops to show you. This basket is a bit of a mess, so I need to try and work out how I'm gonna show you that stuff, but I am super excited to share with you. So let's get started. So the first shop is Bespoke by Cloda. I'm really not sure if I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> um, but I would love to say this is a new to me shop, but this is two separate orders. Um, so no longer new to me, just really love her stuff. Um, so she has a website, she has an Instagram page. So that's how I found her. And my lovely friend Dania was the one who encouraged me to have a look at her shop. Really love her stuff. I've actually not burnt any of it though. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Um, I've actually not used as much of my wax recently. My storage system for my wax is not great right now. So I have it in three different boxes and it's like stored up in the corner of the living room and we were going to get some storage for the kitchen which is where I work sadly um and unfortunately the storage that we wanted has gone out of stock and we haven't really figured out an alternative and it means I don't see my wax in order to burn it but I'm going to definitely do some today because I'm having like a massive chill day I'm in the house on my own like yeah big chill um so I will definitely burn some of these today I think but I also didn't want to burn any until I'd hauled them and it's taken me forever to haul them so endless cycle um I don't even really know where to start to be honest um so this is the uh, little card that you get if you order there is a code like a you know <laughs> it's like planet girl stuff there's a code on the back we can use um okay i'm gonna start with the freebies um so i don't really remember entirely like which of these was in which order um at this point um so i'm just yeah i'll imagine it's all one i don't know um and i'll just start with the freebies so we've got this really cute one which is like a pig themed one uh and it's a jelly bean smell it, i probably should take it out of the packaging but i just think it's adorable because it looks like a percy pig <laughs> um, and like anna and i like we just really love percy pigs um so that's like a jelly bean flavored one um we've got this one which is a random act of kindness a little gift it's uh like a little flamingo one the scent is comforter which i think is a laundry scent can't really smell it through the packaging but looks really cute one of the things i just really love about this shop is the attention to detail of this wax is amazing and you're gonna see that close up in a second but like she's so generous you just get so much stuff and i was messaging her about some stuff in my first order and she was so great and she gave me like a little code to use and all isn't it just she's so lovely um but also it's just it it's really different there's so much glitter like yeah it's amazing um then we've got these which are like a gummy bear shape and these are pina colada um quite a nice smell i don't drink but <laughs> quite quite a nice smell there and then this is my favorite freebie which uh it was in just like a, a free little bag i think this was to do with i'd spoken to her about it being my first order and stuff like that and uh so i think this was probably my freebie from that and this one is a synthetic banana smell which is one of my favorite wax melt smells it's so yeah it smells gorgeous i can't even describe how beautiful it smells uh so that's a really cute it literally smells like you know like 30p gummy sweets from when we were young and you'd get the banana foam ones like that is this smell if anyone uh, if you know what i mean you'll think i'm totally on it and then other people will be like what but yeah really love that one and this is her sort of like signature b because b spoke is the name <laughs> so signature b there okay so when ordering i tried to go for a range of her stuff um but one of the things um one of the reasons why i decided to order from her is she does a lot of disney stuff right and we all know i'm a fan here is one of the just most beautiful waxes i've ever seen which is a beautiful disney castle she had these in a few different ones but i went for a pink one i'm not sure i can ever burn this guys to be honest i'll probably just keep it and frame it um so the smell is zoflo paradise peach which is a, a laundry scent i believe they are definitely difficult to smell through the packaging guys i'll be honest and i could take it out but i just i don't i want to protect it forever um i can smell it a bit more like when i move it away from me though and it is a really peachy smell which i really like so absolutely stunning there and then she did uh like a beauty and the beast release and oh, i feel like i need to open these to show you guys but i'm just like really reluctant to because they're so stunning but these ones are like mickey mouse shaped uh, for some of them so there's a bit of a range in there and this is the beauty and the beast collection it's lavion rose oh 
has a really lovely scent um yeah i just think the packaging the detail like i don't know how well you guys can see because i really should just take them out of packaging but they're just like beautiful and glittery and yeah absolutely amazing and then she also had an aerial release and so these ones are in sun and sand okay this one i can smell a lot more through the packaging Oh, I can, at the back of my mind, I know what this scent is, but I can't tell you. But it's quite like a sort of scent you'd have in a bathroom sort of thing, which makes absolute sense for a Little Mermaid uh, theme. Just like, yeah, again, it's in this Mickey Mouse shape. They're so stunning. I don't know how I'm ever going to burn these. That's my only issue because I just think they're so stunning. Um, and then she also had a Rapunzel release. So these ones are Rapunzel shampoo. They smell like the Aussie shampoo, which I used to use and love the smell. Um, and these ones are, you know, I picked up something slightly different. So I can definitely burn these because there's a few of them um but they're just these like gorgeous like yellow and lilac and really glittery just absolutely stunning melts and this art uh, guys the smell is just amazing this might be the one i burned today because it just smells amazing um and then she also did a pocahontas release and uh went a bit crazy on this one not really sure why <laughs> <laughs> and I was also picking up some stuff for Anna at the same time for her birthday and I did like a little gift pack for my friend Dania as well um so this wasn't everything I picked up um I did pick up some stuff for those guys as well um but I just went crazy on it like given that Beauty and the Beast is my favorite and I picked up so much Pocahontas stuff <laughs> I'm not really sure how that happened but I just I just think these are so unique like look at this leaf and these flowers oh you guys are probably sick of hearing my voice right now but so these ones smell like Fruit Loops in fact, these ones are a bit easier for me to open the package, I think. So maybe I can take these out and show you guys. Oh, look, it's just so beautiful. I don't know if I think that smells of Fruit Loops. Aren't Fruit Loops a cereal? Okay, I'm not sure that I think that smells... I think they're really nice, though. <laughs> well, I don't know that I think it smells of Fruit Loops, but I think that the smell is lovely. Um, so those are one of the ones from the Pocahontas collection. Then this one's like Grandma Willow, and it's got just some leaves and stuff in here as well. This one is in Lavender, which is just a scent that I love. Um, it's just a really... You know, I really associate Lavender with sleeping well and peacefulness. And I'll take this one out to show you guys, but look at Grandma Willow. Just... Oh. Yeah, that's definitely lavendery. <laughs> so a beautiful one there. And then this one I won't open because I've still got it sealed. And she sealed them with these beautiful autumn leaves. And she just puts so much attention into the packaging, which I just love. Uh, this one is also in the Fruit Loop scent. And this is just a slightly bigger one. Um, Yeah, I can't really smell it from the packaging. <laughs> uh, but that's just really cute. I, yeah, I don't know why I picked up so many. I think I was just going rogue, to be honest. Um, and then these ones were a Spellman release. So, like, um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I really like the old, you know, original Sabrina and the new Sabrina on Netflix. And, yeah, just really, like, lovely for Halloween. These ones are in Seychelles smell, which smell nice from what I can smell through the packaging. Um, yeah, and that's like the Rapunzel one. It's got a good range. So, you know, I won't feel so bad about using them. But we've got like a pumpkin. We've got a cat. Just really cute. And then we've also got these gorgeous like Cinderella themed ones. So yeah, she does a lot of Disney range. And this is Dreams of Wish Your Heart Makes. And it's in Dreams Unstoppable, which I think is a laundry scent as well. Yeah, it smells like very sort of like clean, fresh scent. We've got a pumpkin, you know, we've got like very cinderella heart heartflowers. It's just lovely. There's just so much attention to detail in these. I think for the amount that you get in here, they're a really good price point as well. So would absolutely recommend. And then this one I picked up is a donut, which is so cute as well. This is, yeah, lavender. Definitely smells lavender to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that it's just so stunning. So yeah, sorry if that's not a massively interesting haul to watch because I didn't open them all, but I just want to keep them protected and beautiful forever. But at least now I've done this haul, I can start like using them because I've honestly kept some of these for months and not used them yet, which is really bad. <laughs> so that is my orders from Bespoke by Cloda, I think. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And then we have like everyone's favorite UK wax melt shop. Uh, this is the Wax Mouse uh, who is on Etsy. Um, I have turned a lot of people over to the Wax Mouse's shop, which I'm really glad about because I just think she's lovely and, you know, really happy to support a small business. Um, so I did not pay for this. Um, these were a birthday present from the lovely Anna of Planner Face. Um, and what I, so Anna gave me a gift voucher to use in the Wax Mouse's shop and she's just so generous. She's amazing. She knows. <laughs> Um, so, um, yeah, I've had these a, a while because my birthday was in July. <laughs> um, but again, I had just been really stalling on doing this whole video. Um, I have burnt a couple of these already because uh, I burnt them like around my birthday. And they're just 
there's just some really cute stuff so the wax mask has a range of different sizes it's pretty much all disney inspired or like there's a couple of like harry potter ones and stuff like that um but she has also branched out as well into some newer ranges um so definitely have a look at her stuff she's got a load of things and this is like a new size so it's like a, a pack of two hearts so it's really good if you're not sure if you're going to like a scent you can try it out before you buy more of them and there's a really good price point which is how i've ended up with so many um so i'm really excited to show you guys these i have no idea where to start there's so many of them so i'm just going to like shift them all to the side and move them from one side to another i think <laughs> so we'll start with this one so this is fill our magic bubbles which i have already melted one of these it's a stunning scent like I melted this one when my parents came over because my mum is like quite fussy about scents that she likes and I felt like this one was like a non-offensive scent that a lot of people would like so I felt like this is a good one so I would absolutely recommend this one it's a really cute uh white heart with glitter yeah it's just really cute I don't know if I'm gonna get them all out guys because <laughs> they're energy um but definitely have a look at her stuff because you can get a really good idea of, of what they look like and things but this is sort of what they all look like so i've gone for the heart shape she does do snap bars as well which i have a couple in i've got other wax melt haul videos that you guys can have a look at to see a bit more about what she does but yeah would absolutely recommend this one it's a really good it, it does smell like quite fruity which i really like um but i just think it's a really good non-offensive smell for if people who <laughs> don't you know they're quite fussy about wax so that's filler magic bubbles We've also got this one, which I have melted already, which is bubblegum wool. It, it smells exactly as you would expect. It's really bubble, bubble gummy, uh, but I really like it. And it's like a really gorgeous dark pink. So it looks like the bubblegum wool in Florida. So really love that one. We've got this one, which is Caribbean Beach, which is a really gorgeous blue scent. Um, she does have descriptions of the scents on her website, and I have in previous videos been way more organised than this and explained them all. But my iPad's downstairs, my phone is filming, so I don't easily have access to that information. So ha definitely have a look on her website. Um, but yeah, this one smells lovely. It's I think it's inspired after some of the hotels in Florida. Um, that smells like sort of really sort of fresh scent that one then we've got this one which is animal lodge which uh is like a kind of yellow with pink glitter i really wish i had this the scent list up because i feel like i could say whether something justifiably smells like what it smells like but it's a really nice scent <laughs> whatever the scent is for this one um it's really nice it's it's got a bit more of a little bit of, a little bit of a sort of toffee scent in there but i don't know if that's entirely right to describe it but anyway very nice <laughs> and then we've got this one which is poly lobby which looks to be like a very unique sort of pinky color again could not tell you what it smells like have a look at the scent list but it does smell really nice then we've got Grand Beach Club, which is definitely more of a fresh scent, as you would expect. Uh, again, really lovely. Like, I'm not sure there's any of these I don't like so far. Just really genuinely lovely scents. Then we've got this one, which is Under the Sea. Again, very like fresh, sort of watery smell, which it definitely smells of. Really lovely. And these ones I know, having like melted a lot of hers before, have like a really good throw. If that's, I feel like that's the description people use, but I feel like the, the scent, you know, it carries really well. Uh, so that one's lovely. So that's Under the Sea then we've got my absolute babes minion mayhem which like i have already melted this one it's that synthetic banana smell again it's gorgeous like if you like that smell right i really like this smell but i appreciate many people wouldn't but i love this one so that's minion mayhem it smells absolutely as you would expect it's based on the minions love it then we've got this one which is soaring over orange grove which is a bit more of a sort of rosy scent i would say which is less of the sort of scent that i like but i actually quite like smelling it through the packet so definitely interested in melting it it's a beautiful orange color we've got this one which is flower garden which i'm telling you does smell of the outdoors so very nice when you're stuck inside <laughs> um and just really lovely like it's got a lot of glitter on it it's really yellow which i really like so that's flower garden then we've got pop century which is a sort of caramelly sort of color i'm not really sure what this one smells like I would say this is probably one my boyfriend would like and is less my sort of smell like it's a little bit more musky it's a little bit less flowery but uh yeah i'm still definitely interested to try it then we've got over india which i got because i was like i've got a lot of the other sort of princess inspired ones these are the ones that are inspired by like jasmine and aladdin and i was like oh i just want to complete the set it is a rose scented one guys and if you've watched my previous videos i don't like rose scented things and this one does smell of rose and i don't particularly like it <laughs> And as I always say with wax melt videos, and I probably should remember to say at the beginning, but these are always just my own interpretations of smell. Everyone's interpretation is different. Like Anna and I have entirely different 
like interests in sense um and that's just between us and we have different like favorites again from the you know other friends that we have that use wax so um definitely you have to try stuff out for yourself you may love a rose scent if i don't but i do in particular i have worked out the sort of one scent i particularly don't like is a rose scent which is so tragic because of beauty and the beast but uh yeah unfortunately don't particularly love the scent of this one but it's really lovely colors uh, and i'm sure many of you will love it this one is boo to you so i went for it because it's halloween themed i would say it smells like cola and they're brown so that maybe is accurate or like sticky toffee pudding <laughs> i don't know uh yeah it's probably not the sort of scent i particularly love i it's a real shame because obviously i'm very into like halloween and stuff um but i actually don't think i often like halloween scents um like i don't really like the haunted mansion scent either um so it's a bit of a shame but very cute and then this one is happy on birthday which is inspired by alice in wonderland it smells of vanilla cake which i know is what it was advertised as um so that definitely is what it smells of i don't know how i will feel about this when it's melted because it's really strong um but it absolutely smells as you would expect and i should have known that when i bought it so <laughs> but i was really interested to try this one so yeah if you like birthday cake scent this is the one for you because it's really strong and really smells that way and then i think these three at least these two are non-Disney scents because I have most of them now. <laughs> I have like all the ones I know I will definitely like sort of thing. Um, so I thought, thought I would branch out, go a little bit different. This one might be a Disney one though. This is H2O Sea Marine, which is sort of similar to the other watery ones is that kind of smell, which I like. It's very fresh. I think it's really good to have a, like as a smell in your house. So really excited about that one. Then this one is Pear and Freesia. And it definitely smells of pear and I really love pear. So thrilled. Um, and then this one is Blackberry and Bay. Which also smells really nice. I think that one's maybe based on a fragrance or something like that. But it smells lovely. <laughs> so yeah. So as always, love it. A big thank you to um, Anna for getting me this as a birthday present. You are amazing and so kind. And I won't gush too much. But <laughs> yeah. So that is my order from the Wax Mouse. And then this is my last shot for this haul. These are by Candles by Carrie Anne on Etsy. And I picked these up for my boyfriend's birthday. <laughs> because, you know, I'm the sort of person that's like, Hi, it's your birthday. You want wax, right? <laughs> uh, to be fair, right, I'll explain. My boyfriend does like wax. Like he, you know, I think he is quite supportive of me having spent an awful lot of money on this hobby. Um and you know he like he you know he's interested in talking about different scents with me and stuff and so I just wanted to pick him up some of his own but also because it was his birthday in September and I kind of I went for like things that represented so we've been together uh, just over a year and there were things that sort of re reflected our relationship and like wax was a pretty big deal when lockdown first started because we had so little other joy in life and wax was one of those things and so yeah it was just to kind of symbolize that um and i went for star wars themed ones because i did a star wars themed birthday for my boyfriend and uh i just i came across carrie's shop on etsy and she just has some really lovely stuff and she's a really lovely person she ships so quickly she sent me like a personalized message about it um yeah and it, they were wrapped differently to this it was wrapped really cute it was in like gray tissue paper and stuff um but when we were tidying up for my boyfriend's birthday i just had to sort of put these ones away safely because as you can see the designs are really intricate so i just wanted to make sure that uh they yeah got away safely um so i did also i don't know if there was a range of scents to pick from i'm tempted to say there was and i went for the scents that my boyfriend would like so these are all sandalwoods scented i believe um which is one of the ones i know my boyfriend likes i personally don't like this smell okay <laughs> um like i we have melted one of them already so that one isn't here i think it's another one of these ones um and it it was okay but it isn't my favorite smell but it is my boyfriend so you know i was being a good girlfriend and picking a scent he would like so i'll just show you guys i mean you can kind of get the gist of what they are but we've got star wars themed ones so we've got a uh, stormtrooper unfortunately they're a little bit tall for these plastic pots i have so stormtroopers uh nose of his helmet's looking a bit <laughs> looking a bit bashed up but they traveled really safely or oh, yeah i'm kind of smelling it now I'm just like oh it's just really not my favorite uh but yeah so we've got two stormtroopers there got a stormtrooper in gray um and then we've got darth vader looking sort of very menacing there and then just the, the absolute glorious i've so i've wrapped it in a bag actually i've sealed it up so i won't undo it this is the millennium falcon it's so amazing i know it's like a mold and stuff but it's just incredible i'm not sure we'll ever burn it because it's so beautiful um but yeah so i'm just really like her stuff i really like her i just sort of felt that she was yeah sort of i like small businesses that take the time um you know and i'm really pleased to have supported her and she's just got some really cute stuff so definitely check out her shop i will link to it below it's candles by carrie ann on etsy
and that's it for this haul video um normally i do an outro with you know more to show than just one of the shops but they're all on the floor right now and <laughs> i'm gonna have to pick them up and take them downstairs and put them away and stuff but i'm really glad i filmed this because it's months overdue um so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed um feel free to chat to me about wax if you uh if you are into it i love to hear from people who are interested in wax i will link to the shops that i featured uh, today in the description down below if you did enjoy this video i would really appreciate if you gave it a like and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and if you want to find me over on instagram where i mostly post planner stuff um but feel free to dm me to chat about wax <laughs> my instagram is at peace.love.plan otherwise i will see you guys in my next video bye <music>